I'm going to show you the best turret spots on every push map. That's Coliseo, Esperanza, and New Queen Street. What is it? If you're looking to get more value as Tor, it's a good idea to learn these turret spots. I use these turret spots all the way up to Masters, and they are tried and true to do good, effective damage. Groovy. If you know any other good spots on these maps, please leave them in the comments below so we can improve as a community. Let's dive right in. The first thing I like to do is go through the entryway and go to this parlor. And placing the turret right at the end of the table. This provides great cover at max range while you're in the back line sniping opponents. If you build it, they will die. Pushing forward to the first turn, you will want to put a turret here to hit the back line and open up the crossfire. The closer you can get the turret to the parlor wall, the better. After you round the corner, put the turret close to the vegetation here at the corner underneath the stairs. This will really open up the crossfire. While playing around first point, put the turret anywhere under the bridge. This will really punish anyone jumping from top of bridge or going down the stairs. While pushing into last point, you'll want to put the turret close to this column. The little uphill from the bridge actually makes this turret really hard to hit. To cheat. When fighting for the last point, put the turret behind any of these walls. This will punish anyone trying to rush a point. For the first fight on Esperanza, you have two viable options. This one you can put between the wall and the stairs, and covers your back line to protect against flankers. The second option is to put the turret here in this room to help push the front line at max range. Moving on to fighting over bridge, you have two options yet again. One turret you can put on top of the bridge. If you put it farther back on the bridge, it will limit its line of sight for people coming out of Mega and make it harder for supports to kill it, coming from the other way. The other option is to hug it to this wall and it'll cover the room under the archway. Moving on to first point, my favorite turrets are to put it on the ledge next to the vegetation or in the corner under the windows. After rounding the second corner, there's one way turret to put on the high ground to cover the windows, which is a good flanking spot for DPS. If you place it far back enough, the other players on the enemy team will have a hard time breaking this turret. As you're fighting through the uphill, you can put it behind these two walls to cover flanks and punish pushes. When fighting near this bus looking thing, you want to use this long corridor to your advantage and snipe people with your turret. Finally, when fighting for the last point, put your turret behind this car, which can really secure you the victory. Unfortunately for us, Blizzard tried their best to patch out any fun turret spot that we could possibly have. There's not even any collision on trees. But fear not, there's still some decent spots that we can work with. Approaching first fight, this carefully placed turret can cover a whole lot of ground and be difficult to destroy. Since fights happen here a lot, you can switch up your turrets by putting it here behind the statue, which can make it difficult for supports to hit, or right behind this bench to accomplish generally the same thing. Additionally, you can put the turret on any of these ledges that have an opening. You could have vision on the high ground where DPS like to flank. It's up to you if you want that covered. Approaching the first checkpoint, I like the turret right under here, close to the boxes. It'll cover the ramp at max range, as well as any flankers. If you're defending at this stage, a turret here can generally do pretty well. Once you give it a little bit of ground, you can switch up your turret spot by putting it under the windows here, or in the doorway on the opposite side. Pushing the last bit of point, you have two options here. You can put it in this doorway to punish people pushing into you, or you can put it behind this corner where they can't shoot it from the stairs, hopefully securing you the victory. victory. So you made it to the end of the video, but wait, it probably means you're serious about improving as a tour main. As an effort to put out more educational content, I will be offering free coaching for any DPS mains, ranks diamond or below, preferably tour mains. If you are interested, please join my Discord in the description below to find out more details. Please leave comments below if this video is helpful and what type of video you'd like to see next. With that, have a fantastic day.